I'm gonna turn my phone down. Okay. Uh, welcome everybody. Welcome Mike. So glad to have you here. And um, I don't have any announcements other than the usual, which is next month we'll have our meetings and our education night next month, uh, January. Every my daughter-in-law will be doing food photography. And um, tonight after the judging, we will go ahead and vote on our subject of the month for next, uh, next year. Um, any other, other announcements? Anybody? Nothing to help. Okay. It's not helping. Pull it closer. And uh, Alice, do you want to introduce Mike a little bit again? Before we start, um, I'm going to mute everyone. So remember, if you need to talk, press your space bar. Okay. Um, everybody knows Mike Busby for sure. He is a wonderful judge. We love him to judge for us. He's a. You turned off Alice. Okay, Alice, can you turn yourself on? Mike has his own uh, photography school, Mike Busby Photography School. He's, I think he's had it going two or three years now. Yeah. And um, he can probably tell you more about his history, but um, we are so happy to have him because we love the way he brings in a different perspective to judging. So, Mike? Yeah. I'm not sure what different perspective means. I don't know well, if it's a good or if it's you bad. Know, you, <laughs> you, come, you come to us with a philosophical. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. Yeah. So yeah, I've had the school now for two years in a, in a physical place and I've been teaching for three or four and it's just something that I, I really, really enjoy. Um, I've been doing with this with you guys now for, I think, four or five years. Uh, it, it's I'm been a while, and, and every time I do it, I learn a little bit more. And it's, it's just really cool going through your images because I see stuff. I learn stuff, you know, and I also like just talking about it with you guys. So with that being said, okay. I'm good to go. All right. We have 27 all together. So do we want to just go straight through or do we want to take a break? Halfway through, what uh, Lynn, what would you like us to do? I don't, I don't have I'll a problem. What? I'll, uh, I'll tell okay. you what, I'll, I'll do the first two categories uh, and then we can. Then we can decide what to do. We can go from there. Okay. okay. Sounds good. So also, I did not arrange for anybody to scroll through them. So is anybody doing that? I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay. So I can even use my mouse and point at things this time too. Okay. So oh, awesome. we'll give it a shot. And okay. Reading. So there you go. Oops. How's that? Hold on. Now I lost my shoot. A second here, guys. There we go. All right. There we go. A little Christmas magic. Okay, so this shot came up and right off the bat, it's like, this is really capturing the season, the, the light that's been added at the bottom of the tree. I think, you know, it's a touch of the divine, it's a touch of magic, it's, it's just really splendid. And then with the rest of the, the living room, especially with the fireplace, I thought that was really cool. Um, I think there may be more of an image if you were to crop in, let's see if I can do this starting from this side and maybe crop in a little bit more. Uh, it would really make that tree uh, pop quite a bit. Or if you wanted to rearrange it a little bit, maybe a little bit more you know, out and to the right. So it's a little bit more cozier with the fireplace. Um, aside from that, great shot, great impact. I did spend a little bit of time looking at how this was applied. Um, it looks fantastic. It looks absolutely fantastic. This is a little bit of a knit. I didn't use it for any kind of the, the, the scoring and stuff. 
but this tiny little spot right down here, I would also clone that white too. I think it would just look a little bit better, but again, that's, that's a real net. So composition is four, impact is four, and technical is five. A Little Bit of Magic by Terry Hamilton, 13 points. No, oh, I'm doing this, aren't I? Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> blue on blue. Okay, I think this is a, a strong image. It, it is exactly what it is, uh, but a lot of sharp, uh, everything is sharp, lots of detail. Whites, uh, there's detail in the whites, there's details in the blacks, so the tones look, look really, really good. The background, uh, I think we call it bokeh, which is kind of the quality of the blur. Just, uh, it looked just kind of through here a little bit. It looks a little patchy. And I don't know if, it, if the image had a nice blur and then maybe it was sharpened or if it was contrast, or maybe it just came out, uh, came out that way. Um, not really hitting the scores with that at all, just something I want the photographer to be aware of. Uh, if it was due to over sharpening or, or contrast, then you can maybe mask that out. Uh, composition four, impact is a five, and technical is a four. Blue on Blue by Elaine Giodone, 13 points. No, I, I will remember to switch it. That's okay. Okay. Bubbles. So this is the image that I spent most of my time on. Um, and uh, the area that I struggled with was, was with the composition of it, basically having the two images together. And the reason why is because the image on the left is, is too good. And what I mean by that is if I were scoring that one by itself, that would be a 14 or a 15, uh, that image. It's, it's capturing her expression. Uh, you've got movement, you've got energy, there's exploration, curiosity. Uh, it's something that resonates with us. I mean, it's just, it's just everything you want in a photograph. The image on the right, again, it's a beautiful photograph. The colors are great. You can't fake that smile. It, it's a big laugh. Um, so I'd be scoring that one probably between a, a 12 or a 13. But I've got to score them together as one image. Um, that's kind of how I'm looking at it. And what I'm really seeing is here's this almost perfect image on the left. Um, but this is actually acting as, as kind of a distraction. So, you know, my, my thought was this might be a parent or a grandparent, uh, you know, telling the kids, Hey, I'm going to have both of you entered into a competition. And if that's it, really, really cool. If our photographer is selling this to a client, they would absolutely love it. But just kind of from a broader perspective, this is your image. And this is a gorgeous image. Um, so I did do a score change. Uh, I don't know who keeps track of them, but Thank I go you. through the scores. And then right before we start, I go through them again. Uh, so this one, I'm uh, whoever shot this certainly knows what they're doing. So composition four, impact four, technical five. And then, like I said, that, that image on the left, if you had a little bit more of, of the little girl just, just going down a little bit, you know, just a little bit more, um, I think that could be five straight across. Okay. Bubbles by Maxie Adams, 13 points. <laughs> I'm waiting, Colleen. I'm waiting. Oh, it's your, yours. Ooh, pretty. Okay. Hives in bloom. So I do a lot of macro photography. I can be critical of macro photography, um, but I'm critical of this one in a very, very good way. Uh, the first thing that struck me is, you know, I see a lot of buds. I see a lot of flowers in bloom. Not sure if I've ever seen something like this where the bloom is starting to come out, which makes it unique. It makes it original to me. Um, and it just pops off the pinks against the green. Uh, the green is blurred in the background. Everything's bringing attention to the center. Uh, it's a simple piece, but it's sharp. It, it was well done. Um, composition five, impact five, and technical five. Just very well done. Chives in Bloom by Elaine Giadone, 15 points. Very good. Okay. So this is an interesting shot. 
Did you need to say something, Colleen? Yeah, I do. I get to okay. say the title. <laughs> okay. Cold day at Palouse Falls. I should get it right in about the next 20 or 21 images. Yeah, we're you know. fine. We'll figure it out. <laughs> so this is a, uh, a cool shot. We're all aware of the falls. Uh, we've all seen it with ice, but this has got quite a bit of ice on it. Uh, right through here, just looks a little bit blown out. Uh, so if you could get some, some details back into that one. And I might suggest to the photographer that this one would be a very good candidate for black and white. Uh, the specific reason for that is we'll get out these yellow tones because it looks kind of dirty, but uh, we make it black and white and then we go down there and we brighten up where there's a snow a little bit and it just, it, it's really going to pop. Also, it looks like, I was a little bit critical of this, but it looks like there's a vignette that's around most of the, the water and stuff. Uh, go ahead and keep the vignette, just ease off on it just a little bit. Whoops. Sorry guys, now I'm trying to get it right again. So compositions for, oh, um, I also appreciated the composition, the, the frame, making it a vertical to, to highlight the fall of the falls. So composition is four, impact is four, technical is three. Cold Day at Palouse Falls by Donald Burnell, 11 points. fall arrangement so if i were doing education night again and i wanted an example of finding a strong center of interest um, then building interest and then keeping viewer in the keeping the viewers in the image i would use something like this uh, stacked and staged but it's 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 really pretty it's really gorgeous where's the bright spot on that image it's that bright orange flower right on top. That's where the eye goes. Something we didn't talk about in, in, in education night is when we build interest, the eye loves variety. It likes different colors, it likes different lines, it likes different textures. And all of those leaves have that. Um, finally, keeping the image in the, the viewer in the image. I don't know what the, the, the background is, whether it's wood or, or, or what it's on, but it's a darker color, it goes all the way around. Uh, so it's keeping the viewer in the image. Uh, lots of patterns, a lot of textures. Uh, this gets a uh, five for composition, five for impact, and five for technical. Fall arrangement by Terry Hamilton, 15 points. I'm there, I'm there. You're fine. Ooh, um, okay. Fascinating sea creatures. So this is a, another really cool image, and I had the, the, the same reaction when it came up. It was like, ooh, that's really pretty cool. Uh, the colors are vibrant. It's, it's kind of unique that they're, you know, I know that's the way they're swimming, but I'm just going to say it's, a, you know, they're, they're upside down. Uh, the, the color combinations are really cool because you got the oranges in the center, some purples. You got that orange against the, those nice blues in the background. So it looks like maybe it's a little bit blown out here. Um, I don't know if that's the sun or if it's a light in an aquarium or something, but just blown out if you could get the details back, um, but not much of a distraction on that. So composition is four, impact is five, um, and impact is five because I went ooh when I saw it, which is a great reaction, and technical is four. Okay. Fascinating Sea Creatures by Dorothy Dettler, 13 points. Okay. Grand Canal Venice. So this is an interesting image. I very much like the, comp uh, the composition where we've got the boat pretty much cleared from the rest of the, the city in the background. It's up front. So we got a nice foreground. We got a nice background. Um, the criticism on this one is it's got a strong vignette. You can see how the sky gets darkened down and it's darkened down here on the edges. Again, a vignette is, is a very powerful thing. It's a very good thing. We just don't want it to be super obvious because if it's obvious, then we start looking at the vignette rather than the rest of the image. So maybe use it, but just tone it down or use the vignette down here in the bottom a little bit 
but you were probably pretty good leaving it off up in the sky. Um, it looks like maybe it's a little bit over sharpened. I, I, it kind of feels that way, but otherwise I think this is just a really nice and pleasing image. Um, especially if you were to, to know the people that were in the boat. So composition four, impact four and technical is three. Grand Canal Venice by Donald Burnell, 11 points. Monroe. So this is a really cool shot to me. And my, my rep is cityscapes at, at night. And I think this is a, a great shot. Um, starting things off, we got this, this really nice curve. We've got the dark bridge against the, the brightness in the background. These tones under the bridge kind of look like they're, they're, they're lighting it up from underneath. Those are super, super cool. Um, also on the lights here, do you see those little flares? That's telling me that someone was probably stopped down a little bit, um, maybe to get the water a little bit smoother or to intentionally get those flares. If we don't have the flares, then those lights can just look like uh, little blobs of white. But when we have the flares, then it, it makes them uh, more aesthetic and it adds a little bit sense of, of, of energy. Um, for the photographer, if you shot this during the blue hour, the, this is a solid shot. If you shot this uh, past the blue hour later at night, uh, then this is really a, a fantastic job and, and well done. Uh, as we get deeper into the night, the, the, the lights get really bright, shadows get dark. We end up getting some, some blowouts like this a little bit through here, maybe a little bit through here, but those are almost impossible to deal with when, when it starts getting really dark. Uh, this is just a net for the photographer because I do a lot of, of this kind of shooting and I get real technical on the angles. Uh, up here, this building is looks a little bit uh, off horizontal, and but the bridge looks straight. Um, if it were me, I would probably rotate it a little bit to make the building with the straight line because the, the eye wants to go right there. Um, you didn't get hit one way or the other because of it. It's, it's just an observation. So nicely done. Maybe tone this down just a little bit through here, but really nicely done. So composition is four, impact is five, and technical is four. Okay. Monroe by David Powers, 13 points. Whoops, whoops, I'm crazy. So this is an image that gave me pause. Um, it's one I just started, I, I, I just started going you know, looking through all the detail and stuff. And to me, this image is about detail and it's about uh, a story involving some kind of, of recognition. Uh, the expression is just fantastic. This image is about details. Um, there's details in the face, but they're, 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 they're flattering and they're appropriate. Details all through the hat, details all through this. It's dark back here, but there's still details in all of that. Um, we will say something like an image may look a little HDR if, if we think the, the, the tones have been compressed, um, but we use the term, it's a little stylized when it's done right and it looks fantastic. And that's what, what, what this image is. Uh, it captures the mood. She's thinking or she's seeing something she recognizes or enjoying something, fantastic image. So composition five, impact five, and technical five. Rainy Day Woman by John Lepper, 15 points. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just so you know, Colleen, you're on my screen. So every time the next image doesn't come up, I look at you like, come on, what are you doing? Then I realize <laughs> it's me. And I'm doing the same thing, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, but you're right. <laughs> Okay, Stay so this was, a, this was a really interesting piece to me. This is actually a cool piece to me. Uh, the only real criticism that's going to come up is, is it, it, it's so dark in the background and stuff. But having said that, uh, the, composi the, the composition with, with her and then having this really cool stained glass in the background uh, 
to me that was clearly done 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 with intent also these these colors with with the gold against the purples fantastic colors great color combination these tones through here these are absolutely fantastic um my my guess is is that there's a light source on this that's fairly close and then the stained glass is a ways away in the back and so when that light source is close you get a lot of immediate light fall off which makes a a darker background uh if you were able to be on a tripod on this this may be a shot where i try to get two shots where my first shot i'm shooting it just like you have it here and then my second shot, I'd open it up a couple of stops, uh, double or quadruple the time and take another shot. So all of this dark area starts getting some, some detail and stuff. Um, as is composition four, impact four and technical three. Sanctuary by Lori Carlton Smith, 11 points. Huh? I got it this time. Scattered. So this was an interesting piece to me. Um, I like how it was stylized. <laughs> and by I mean stylized, it means it's got a unique look to it that uh, is what was done really, really well. The issue that, that's popping up to me is if I, I don't have a strong center of interest. Uh, I'm seeing the puzzle pieces. My mind wants to make a, a story with it, but it's just not getting there. Uh, I'm thinking, even if you could just find like three or four pieces, even maybe two or three uh, that you can hook together, hook two or three pieces right here together, kind of in the center, leave everything else the same. And I think that could add a, a lot to the story. Um, it's got some impact and the technical is wonderful. So composition is a three, impact is a four and technical is a four. Scattered by Tamara McGee, 11 points. Superb Starling. So this one jumped out at me. Uh, love the colors, love the detail. It's bright, it's bold. The big colors are in the center. The muted colors are around the, the edges. So the eye is really staying in on the bird. Um, the only criticisms I have is it just looks a touch bright. Um, I might suggest just using the brightness slider and, and toning it down a little bit. Uh, especially right through here and maybe right through here and maybe just add a touch of contrast. Uh, something that's interesting with this image because sometimes I don't know when I'm being um, overcritical or not. So it's, this isn't part of the judging, but it feels to me there's a little bit of a halo th uh, through the bird, which could either be over sharpening or, or something else. But I'm just saying that as an observation because I don't really know if I'm seeing it or not. So I just want the photographer to be aware of that was something that I was looking at. Uh, but as is, composition's four, impact is a five, and technical is a four. Superb Starling by Steve Whitaker, 13 points. Okay, so we're moving into uh, print general monochrome. So and we start with this one. Okay. Burr. Okay, there was interest in this shot because my mind tried to uh, decipher what I was looking at. Clearly it was a waterfall, uh, but at first I thought this was sand at first and then it was later I realized that it was, um, ice and, and ice fragments. Then I noticed the, the title. So it was like, okay, this is ice. Um, nice composition. This has some impact. My advice would be to uh, brighten some of this area up through here. Uh, the, the whiter this looks through here, the more it's gonna feel and act like ice. 
um, the more it's gonna give you that uh, emotive feel that you're looking for. Uh, if I were dealing with this being cold, um, I might even try to add maybe just a slight blue tone to it, uh, just to see if that could also cool it down. Uh, but otherwise, a nice solid image. Uh, composition's four, impact is four, technical is three. Burr by Donald Burnell, 11 points. Okay, foggy morning. So this is another image that I spent some time with. Uh, I, I really like the combinate the, the composition and I like how this tree is kind of standing out by itself. The tree looks really smooth to me. I'm expecting like rougher textures, but it feels, I don't know, it just feels really smooth. Um, and I don't know if, if that's just the way it looked or if there was, was processing done on it. And also in the background, uh, I understand that that it's a foggy morning, but I wasn't, my, my mind was trying to make sense of the background, some of these textures and lines and stuff, and it couldn't. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure I have advice. It, it might be either bring that out a little bit more so the background can be deter can be determined or maybe actually blur that out and, and brighten it up a little bit and make it fade more. Um, just try to remove that a little bit or give it a little bit more definition. But otherwise, a nice piece. Uh, compositions four, impacts four, and technicals of three. Foggy Morning by Tim Lesser, 11 points. Whoops. Sorry, guys. You're fine. North Rim of the Can Grand Canyon. So this is a nice shot. Um, I like the composition. This kind of, these lines through here, give it a little bit of, of, of framing. And also I really liked how high it was cropped. So we got a little bit of the sky, but because there's so little of the sky, it really, I think, emphasizes the, the, the deepness of the chasm. Um, I don't have a lot of advice for this one. It's just a nice solid shot. Um, I do have a score change on this one. So composition's four, impact is four, and technical is three. Okay, North Rim of the Grand Canyon by Tim Lesser, 11 points. All right, the last one of our uh, print general monochrome still life so i thought this one was a sw uh, just really solid image all the way across uh something that stuck out to me uh, kind of right off the bat is up here we can see the shadows of what's on the table in front of it and this is telling me that there is a light uh, you know Actually, we were standing in front of it. There's a light almost at our feet or, or at our hips that are pointing upwards and, and that's what's casting the shadow. So it's giving it just a little bit of a unique look. Uh, also the brightness over here. Uh, I don't know if it's the same light or if there's a second light. Uh, but again, I think the crop fits the, the image. There's textures in there. There's things to explore. This area right through here, this is metal. Uh, I could see details through here in, in the bright areas and that can be kind of tough to get. Um, overall, just, just a solid shot. So composition is four, impact is four, and technical is four. Okay, Still Life by Donald Burnell, 12 points. Okay, so we have 10 more pictures. You guys want to just keep going? Yes. Yeah. Yep, not, yes. that's not, okay. okay. So we're moving into uh, print subject color. Don't look, don't look, don't look. <laughs> uh -oh. Moment forever, if you're looking for it. Bottom there. You did not see the other shots. Okay. So this is a moment forever. 
Yeah, so I spent some time on this one as as well. Um, it's a solid shot. Something that I'm really liking with it are these two, the, the line of the shore, the line of the sand. Those are a little bit diagonal. They're bringing a little bit of tension to it, making the shot a little bit more dynamic. I kind of looked at this and I was wondering about you know, if someone were to bring the crop down a little bit, maybe bring it up a little bit, that could really pop those lines and therefore pop the subjects as well. Um, but then a moment forever, I'm also kind of thinking, well, this is kind of a square crop. It was done intentionally that way. And maybe they, they like, like the feel of the expanse. So that's just an observation for the photographer. Uh, composition for, impact for, technical for. A Moment Forever by Lori Carlton Smith, 12 points. Do not stop. So this is a shot that I went, ooh, which, which is a, uh, ooh, oh, I mean, oh, in a good way, not ooh in a bad way. Oh, in, in, in a really good way. Uh, we tend to humanize everything. So, you know, we see something like this and, and we can understand it ourselves. Uh, the angle of the baby is, is really, really cool. The story's there, the connection is there. Good job with the name, I, I think that worked. The only criticism I have, and this is minor, um, and it may not even be fully there, but it looked like it was uh, blown out here and here. If you could maybe get those textures back. Um, I loved all the detail in the fur. I really like the background. Uh, it's got a nice soft blur and it's a different tone. It's a darker tone. So it's actually framing the monkeys as well. And it's keeping the eyes right in the center. Uh, lots and lots to like in this image. So composition's five, impact is five and technical is four. Do Not Stop by Steve Whitaker, 14 points. Getting to Know You. So this is a cool shot. It's kind of a slice of life shot. Um, the, the name tells me that the photographer wants me focused on, on this area right through here. But when I start looking at the image, my, my eyes are going to the different people and, and then to here as well. Um, doesn't quite have the impact that the name is implying. Um, I might suggest uh, two things, either one, maybe try to crop it down a little bit. And I think that's gonna bring out the story that you're looking for. Or if you were to switch the name and just say friends, uh, now that implies everyone's involved in the image and, and not just the two dogs. Uh, I've got a score change on this one too. So composition three, impact is four, and technical is three. Okay. Um, getting to know you by Sister Madonna, 10 points. I got eight more to get it right. You're doing good. <laughs> My big sister. So this is a nice shot. It's got some impact and it was, it's a shot that that's very well done. Uh, this is going to be one of those pieces that's going to be really important to the people that, that know the girls. So, you know, moms and dads and, and uh, grandparents are going to love it doesn't have a lot of strong appeal, maybe to, to, to a broader audience. Um, I noticed guys in, in a lot of the shots tonight, uh, we're shooting people from behind, um, shooting animals from behind. Uh, you know, don't be afraid to shoot faces. <laughs> yeah. Now I know some of the images are just because these may be people we don't know. This is what we're seeing and stuff. Um, but otherwise, a, a nice, a, a nice image. So composition is three, impact is four, and technical is four. My big sister by Donna Larson, eleven points. Privacy. 
So this is another image that I, I spent a little bit of time for because I, I can sense what the, the photographer is going for. Um, we got the people out here, there's nothing around, they're out in nature, they're just together having an intimate talk. That part comes through. Uh, and then we have the big tree that's, that's over here to the left. Uh, this is a dominant shape, it's got some bright tones and it's right next to the frame, which means it's commanding a lot of attention. Um, in fact, it may be commanding more attention than the, the couple that's out in the field. Um, I'm not exactly sure what to do with, with this image to, to, to do better, but if you were shooting it again, I might move over to the right more, um, or to I'd move over to my left which is gonna make the tree go over to the right. Um, so then the tree and the couple are together and the story forms better because the, those two big elements are, are closer together. Uh, so for this one, uh, composition is three, impact is three, and technical is three. Privacy by John McLaughlin, nine points. that doggy in the window. So again, I'm looking at the title and I'm seeing, uh, you know, the, the, the story is about the, the, the two dogs. This was kind of a, a tough one on, on scoring. Um, the reason being, there's a lot of distractions in this shot. We've got the dogs here. Uh, the blue barn is standing out the telephone pole. Uh, this is standing out. That's detracting from the story a little bit. There's a lot of blue on the dog. Um, assuming it was maybe a cloudy day. Um, I'm not sure exactly where it's coming from. My advice for the photographer is if you were to crop it, just go right in real close. Um, I think that's a, a powerful image and I think it's a, an intimate image. Um, otherwise, this shot just needs a, a little bit of work because of the distraction. So composition is a two, impact is a three, and technical is a three. Okay. That Doggy in the Window by David Powers, eight points. Trio. Yeah. So I was kind of looking for a story in this image. Um, not really coming up with one, but those chairs are really popping. I think that color combination is really super cool. Um, there's a little bit of yellow down here. I don't know if that's just a stain or, or, or if that's the way it looks. There's, there's a lot of textures in this one. Uh, and also, I really like the, the cropping on this one, the framing. Uh, I've kind of been exploring these the, these longer, thinner frames because to me they're, you know, we read from left to right and when they're longer and thinner, sometimes it just feels like it's bringing out a little bit more time. Um, and I just like that feel. So a solid image, a cool image, composition is for, impact is for, and technical is for. Trio by John Lepper, 12 points. We match the flowers. <laughs> um, so great title, it, let me take a look. Yep, great title, um, it fits really well. Again, this is gonna be one of those images that's gonna be real important to, to, to mom and dad or the grandparents uh, from a little bit broader uh, perspective. You know, we're seeing the hug, um, but we really don't know what the facial expressions are we're not sure what the connection is with, with the rest of the story, uh, but otherwise just a nice solid image. So composition is a three, impact is a four, technical is a three. We match the flowers by Donna Larson, 10 points. We have two more pictures um, in print subject monochrome. So the first one, the band. 
So this is a great shot, lots of impact, lots of character in this shot, which is great to get in a photograph. Um, I think all the expressions are, are really good and I think they, they show them for, for who they are. Um, normally I can get critical with a lot of shirts with a lot of text and a lot of contrast. However, I think it's working really well in this shot. They're all within the shot. Um, I like the differences in height, especially between these three. When we are photographing people in groups, that's something that we're looking for is getting the height differences um, and, and breaking that up. So just a, a good sol solid image. It did look a little bright here on his forehead, maybe a little bit bright here, maybe tone that down a little bit. Uh, composition four, impact four and technical three. The Band by Tamara McGee, 11 points. And our last picture for the night, togetherness. So this is a nice shot. Um, seeing the fence in the background, it's one of those where it's like, you know, were you able to photograph this like right out your window or someplace really, really close? Uh, it's a nice image. I, I feel the connection between the two. Uh, unfortunately, with, it, with this image, when it came up, it looked pixelated through here. Um, and it looks real muddy through here. And what I mean by muddy is it's a little bit darker and there are, there, there's very, very few details. Um, so I don't know if this one was, was cropped in a little bit um, or if there was something else going on. Uh, great shot, just needed a touch more in, in the technical to pop it out. So composition is three, impact is three and, and technical is two. Togetherness by Sister Madonna, eight points. And that's it for our photos tonight. That went by like really, really fast. It did. Oh, 45 fast. minutes. Well, yeah. yes, we need more entries. So encourage everybody that you.